Hi, it's Maggie here from Speak More Clearly. Sometimes people ask us which accent they should learn in English. Well, that depends on where you live and who you're going to be speaking with and if you're living in an English-speaking country, what accent you mainly hear around you. One accent isn't better than another, though there are different elements you need to learn depending on which accent you choose. So let's take a look at a few of the differences between standard British English and standard American English pronunciation. The first, and one of the most obvious differences, is the R sound. The American R sound is said as a rhotic sound, er, much stronger and more pronounced. The British R sound is not rhotic and the tongue tip isn't held as tight. R, R. Of course, we have detailed training on how to pronounce this consonant in our American and British accent courses. You'll find the links to these courses in the description below this video. As well as the difference between how to make the R sound in your mouth, the R sound is omitted in certain words in British English and always said in American English if you see it written in a word. For British pronunciation, the R is said when it is followed by a vowel. For example, it is said in the words read, caring, press, parent, because the R is followed by a vowel each time. It isn't pronounced in words such as car, bird, burn, beer and water in British English because the R isn't followed by a vowel. This makes it difficult for people who've learned English with an American accent and who want to speak with a British accent. It is often harder to take a speech sound out of your speech than to put it in. So if you've learned to say water, you now need to say water, no R. American is water, British is water. The next difference between the British accent and the American accent is the pronunciation of the T letter in the middle of certain words. So words like better, later, button, batter, daughter, water and party are said differently. For the standard or general American accent, the rule is this. If there is a vowel before and after the T, like in the word better, or if there's an R before the T and a vowel after the T, like in party, the T is said as a quick flicked or flapped light, D sound. For example, better. This doesn't happen for the standard British accent. For example, let's take the word better again. For the British, it's said better. For the American, it's said better. Let's take the word batter. Listen carefully for the difference between the British English and the American English. For the British, it said batter. For the American, it said batter. British. The batter hit the ball. American. The batter hit the ball. Let's take the word party. For the British, it said party. For the American accent, it said party. Another difference between the American and British accents is how the vowels are pronounced. One of the vowels that is pronounced quite differently is the O, as in hot, vowel. For the British accent, the lips are rounded and forward, O. For the standard American accent, the lips are relaxed and the bottom jaw is dropped. Ah. Let me show you using the same word with both accents. The British one will be first. Hot. Hot. 
American, hard. British, stop. American, stop. British, off. American, off. Another difference between British pronunciation and American pronunciation is the past tense ending ed. Not always, but for quite a few words, the spelling and therefore the pronunciation of words ending in ed changes. For example, the Americans spell the past tense of the word learn with ed, whereas the British replace the ed with a t. Let's have a look at some of these words. The British spelling and pronunciation will be first. Learnt learned, spelt, spelled, burnt, burned, dreamt, dreamed. Notice the vowel changes in this word, dreamt, dreamed, learnt, learned, earned, earned. There are also some differences between the standard British and standard American accents in patterns of speech stress and rhythm, but both are stressed timed languages. For example, often with French words that are used in English, there is a difference in syllable stress. Generally, British English puts the emphasis on the first syllable and American English puts the stress on the second syllable. For example, let's take the word ballet. The British pronunciation is ballet, emphasis on the first syllable. The American pronunciation is ballet. The stress is on the second syllable. The vowel is said with higher pitch longer and slightly louder in the stress syllable. To learn more about stress and rhythm in English, have a look at the article in the link in the description below. I hope this has shed some light on some of the key differences between an American and British accent. Don't forget there's plenty more information and training in our American and British accent courses to help you speak English clearly or to gain an American or British accent. We've put the links for more information on this in the description below. Bye for now.